Hello, good and wonderful viewers of this channel. You are welcome back to the to my channel. If this is your first time of being here, my name is Taufik. The federal government of Nigeria orders release of Dasuki and Shewore. Watch this video and listen to it carefully. Leave your comments at the comment section below. And if you are new in this channel, please click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give your comments at the comment section below. And as you help and support my, me by subscribing to this channel, I pray that Almighty God, the helper and supporter of all creation, will help you and support you in whatever business you may lay your hands upon in your life. Ure, we are happy. We thank God. That is what is ringing in the air. Finally, 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 the federal government of Nigeria orders release of Dasuki and Showare. Dasuki, who was a former national security advisor, has been in, who has been in detention since 2015. Secondly, Showare, an activist who was arrested by the DSS over the proposed release revolution now protest. The federal government of Nigeria has ordered the Department of the State Security, DSS, to release the former National Security Advisor, NSA, Sambo Dasuki, and the convener of the revolution now protest, Omo Yele According to the nation report, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, made this public in a statement on Tuesday, December 24th. News Blog TV gathered that Malami said the decision to release them was in accordance and compliance with the bill granted to the two by the court. Malami said, and I quote, The Office of the Honorable Anthony General of the Federation has reviewed the pending criminal charges against the duo of Colonel Sambo Dasuki RTD and Omo Yerishowari, whilst the Federal High Court has exercised its discretion in granting bail to the defendants in respect of the charges against them, I am also not mindful of the rights of the complainants, pro complainants prosecution to appeal or further challenge the grant of bail by the court, having regard to extant legal provisions, particularly Section 169 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015. He, however, said that his office has chosen to comply with the court orders while considering the pursuit of its rights of appeal and or review of the order relating to the bail as granted or varied by the court. He continued in his quotation, I quote, in line with the provision of Section 150, Part 1 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, and in compliance with the bill granted to Colonel Sambu Dasuki, RTD, as recently varied by the Court of Appeal, and the bill granted to Omoyere Chowore, I have directed the State Security Service to comply with the order granting bail to the defendants and effect their release. The two convenants are enjoined to observe the terms of their bill and refrain from engaging in any act that is inimical to public peace and national security, as well as their ongoing trial, which will run its course in accordance with the laws of the land. I wish to reiterate again the utmost regard of my office for the entire judicial structure of Nigeria. This administration remains unrelenting in, de in deepening the rule of law and the administration of justice in general, Malami said. Reacting to Malami's order, the lawyer to Dasuki, Ahmed Raji San, commended President Mohamed Wari and the Minister of the for the decision. Raji said, we thank God Almighty. We thank God Almighty. We thank God Almighty. We thank the President for our, of our country, the Attorney General of the Federation, the entire judiciary, and all Nigerians. It is well with us. May God continue to be with 
part of force. State governments are violating court orders with respect to cases that they are, they are, they are, they are trying. Huh? So, Shurek, court ordered Shurek to be released. The government has refused. Court ordered Dalingo. The court has, has, uh, has refused to release it. And it's the state government that is uh, try, trying them. And these are two different political parties. So this is not about one single party. This is about the Nigerian state and the Nigerian political class. You know, uniting together uh, to begin a reign of terror on Nigerian citizens. And where there is poverty, where poverty is increasing, citizens are going to resist. And we can all see that when there is resistance, it's in the context of resistance that human rights are violated. When there is resistance, there will be repression. Human rights will be violated. And of course, resistance must continue and it will be doubled. So our demands were very clear. Stop violating court orders. Stop undermining the rule of law. Stop your attack on the judiciary. And please release all the illegally detained uh, 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 political prisoners and, and uh, prisoners of conscience in the country. And particularly, we ask for the unconditional release of uh, the three political prisoners there, Shure, uh, Shure and Jalingo. And we are holding the state responsible for anything that happens to DG today because it was before us here yes, now that, 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 that they did that.